In the early morning light at the dockside in Parma, a ship bearing the name of his son. But this wasn't a moment of pride for Syrian refugee Abdullah Kurdi. He was lost and alone, the pain in his heart almost too great for words. I was remembering the moment when the ship was sinking, drowning. All those horrifying images were flooding into my mind. The moment my children and I were drowning, we went on board the boat. I saw my children dying in front of me, one after the other. Each was crying out for me, saying, Oh, my father, oh, my father. My wife was saying. Across the world, tribute was paid his suffering. But more than three years have now passed. The ship carrying Alan Kurdi's name will not leave dock soon because so many governments are mounting legal challenges to their rescue operations. The ports of Europe are closing. The hearts may have been opened by the iconic picture of Alan, but those hearts are now hardening. That every family and every boy like Alan Kurdi who lost his life is one too much and it's not even about how many, it's, it's, if there's even one person having to do this journey and, and drowning and not getting help, then that's already too much. Abdullah had a message for the people of Europe. I call on them, he said, to open their doors to these desperate people. They are in dire need of help. They are not coming here of their own free will. They are running for their lives out of war, of killing and destruction. Yeah. David Chater, Al Jazeera. Mallorca.